Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Low Nose. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a green screen in OBS Studio. Okay, let's go and show you how to do this green screen. If you have any other questions as far as how to set up your webcam in OBS, go ahead, check out my channel for some other videos. I have a series of OBS um, videos going, uh, helping you do all sorts of things. Okay, so let's, let's start our scene. Um, purpose of this video, we will just call the first scene green screen. All right, and then let's go to our video capture device, which will be our camera. I'll call it green camera, because why the heck not? All right, I will pick my first camera, and as you can see, my green screen is behind me. And my resolution, will I, will I mess with that? No, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is because uh, I have my green screen behind me, but it's not, you know, it's not long enough. And if I bring it anything wider, if I bring it to 1080p, it's gonna show how, how my green screen is just kind of uh, pretty, it, it's not wide enough for the video. So we'll, we'll, we will leave it like this. And now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to add, I'm not gonna touch the green screen yet. I'm just gonna, I wanna, show you what I plan on doing. We're going to go to like a media source. All right. And let's go to, let's, let's have this in the background. Okay. I'll have my camera on top. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay. All right. So we all know the idea. We, we want to have this right here. Uh, greened out so I myself can be overlaid on top of the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll just have this running uh, repeatedly in the background. Uh, let's right click on your green screen camera or right click on your webcam feed that you have within your source. Go to filters, effects and filters. We will add, we will go to chroma key. Okay, now automatically, since the, the key color type for is green on this chroma key, it already detects the green. And as you can see, it already, it's already affecting uh, the output of what it's going to look like on the fi final video. Okay, so we still have some hazing going on right here. So let's see if we can fix that with the similarity. What the similarity does is right now we're at 400. See, it shows you how much it's taking up the green screen and then how much more it affects. And that's, that's what a similarity does so right now we want to get to the similarity to a point where we don't have a lot of noise but okay you know um, probably a more proper lighting would probably help because right now if I take this off you can see how I have whoops I have I've got where am I okay I've got plenty of light here but I've got a lot of shadow right here and that's where it's having the issues um, horrible lighting in this room I can't wait until I get a, a nice little light kit um, the one I have right now, it's good, but, you know, it's, it's just for my face. Okay, the smoothness. Our default is 80. Why does it not grab? There we go, okay. All right, so it, it, it does make it smoother. Does it help with the issue we are having? Not really. I'm still getting a little noise, so I don't, I don't want to mess with the smoothness too much. Right there. Uh, color spill reduction. Our default is 100. Oh uh, no, we don't want to. We don't want our color black and white. We will leave it as is. Okay, to opacity. That's if I, you know, right now I'm solid on top of my video. But if I, let's just say if I do four, 50, boom, there we go. I'm kind of like ghosting. I'm a little transparent over it. Um, I guess that's so it doesn't cover your image all the way. If you still want to see if there's some kind of inf important information on whatever is happening behind there, you know, you can choose to have it that way. And the, cron the contrast and the brightness, we're not going to mess with that. There's no reason why. We're not going to make it any better. Um, it's, all, it's, it's all about lighting. The lighting is too harsh. Now, the one thing that I don't like about the green screen from OBS is that if you go to custom, it doesn't give you that, that, um, that pen dropper to pick the color that you want to green screen. I've, I've tried and tried. And let's see, select color. I mean... It's like, gosh, you know, it's a, un, un, unless I don't know how to use this, I, I just want to, I normally like when I'm, I'm in editing, I would normally like to just take my pen and pick on the color that I want to green screen and, and it's that and it's done. 
Uh, this one, it's... Okay, let's mess around with it. Does it help much? Didn't look like it. No, look at it. Didn't do, my, didn't do much for me. Add a custom color? No. Oh, no. Ah, you know, that's that's the only thing. I, I really wish there was some kind of pen. Pen aspect to this. You see, it's not, it's not really working. Okay. We'll, we'll go back to green. Okay. And that's it. Really, really short and sweet. You've got your... That's how you do a green screen within a OBS. Um, have your green screen. Make sure you have proper lighting on you. Make sure you have proper lighting on your background. In this case, I do not. Um, but that's it. The, the, the options are really strong. And I will say this. For anyone who is a... I'm a avid Vegas user fan, and I do everything in Vegas. And um, if for some... Let me play with this. See, I'm just kind of messing all this up. There we go. Oh man, this thing's it's just taking over. Life of its own. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm I'm an avid uh I'm an avid Vegas user fan and off the bat as far as performance and simple easy of use, um I kind of like the way the green screen works in OBS. It does a it does a great job of, as far as uh, identifying the color and just kind of doing it. You know, you've got some good options as far as how you can uh manipulate those factors as far as getting your image uh, to pop from the green screen. I do wish it, it had that little color dot so you can be more precise with your color, uh, but there are plenty of uh, uh, sliders there to help you out. But, you know, bar none, guys, this is how you do a green screen green screen application on your videos within OBS. Hope that, I, hope to help, uh, I hope it helped you out. If you found this helpful, go ahead, leave a like. If not, well, you know, go ahead. Uh, let your voice be heard and I guess leave a dislike or a like preferably. Uh, go ahead, subscribe. Got more videos coming up, guys. And check out my voiceover vlog and join the, the sort of community. That's all of us who are trying to figure all this stuff out. We're just kind of banging our heads. How do I do this? Well, I'm here helping you out. Let's, uh, let me know which, whatever you're trying to figure out. I'll put a video together for you and we'll get the word spread out on how to do all of this. Until next time, guys, this is Low for Low Nose. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.